So you want to use React and Bun together? This could mean a lot of things like installing dependencies, compiling your JSX, or even rendering React on a server. But today, I want to push our explorations from the last video when we tried it with Next.js. I want to see if we can use Bun to compile React into a single page application. First, let's get things out of the way. If you just want to use Bun as your dependency manager, go to your current React project, delete your lock file, which would be a package lock, yarn lock, or pnpm lock, and simply run bun install. This will generate a new log b file and nothing else is needed, you can use bun with React. But now let's move on to compiling things. This is important since we need to understand how React gets to a browser in order to run server components in bun. There are two ways you can compile React with bun. The first is simply using a bundler like Vit or Webpack, but bun as first class support for React and JSX. And I want to see if we can achieve similar experience to something like Vite or Create React app. So first, let's create a new empty project called Bun React. And inside this folder, we will initialize a starter Bun project that created for us something that looks like a server application. But for now, we'll focus on using React as a single page application. The server will come later in the video. Time to install our dependencies. I normally get to talk over those when I do a tutorial but now using bun is just too fast for me. So here I'm installing React and React DOM. Bun supports TypeScript without any need to transpile. So let's go ahead here and install the necessary type libraries, which will again take milliseconds. With this done, there are a few things that I want to do before we start any coding. Since we first want to create a client-side rec application, we'll need to render it inside an HTML file. We'll go ahead and create a public folder and inside it, create an index.html file. This will be the entry point of our application. We will declare a div of id root that React will target and also a script tag which will load our application code. This will play an important part in our build step in just a moment. With this done, let's move on to actually create our minimal React application. I'll create a file at src slash index.tsx, delete the old bun created entry file and simply render a simple hello world application. This is as basic as it gets, but let's see how we can build this. Here there are two things to note. The first is the build command. We're telling bun to first delete the old build folder. Next, we're using bun to bundle our React code and push it into index.js. And finally, we're bringing over our HTML file from public to make sure all of this works together. This is a super simplified version that would be no good for production, but I'm sure it's going to be fun to try. So let's go ahead and build this by calling bun run build. And then we'll use the live server VS code extension to see if our build work. And here we have it, a fully working React single page application built in bun with a build that takes under a second. There would be a lot of work left to make this production worthy, like tree shaking and minification, but at least it is working. And lastly, I want to cover the dev command, which does almost the same thing, but simply runs on watch mode. Now let's move on to the real price. Can we make this work on the bun runtime and even make server components run? Let's take a plunge and give it a try. Thank you very much for watching this bun video until the end. If you liked it, I am thinking I might explore how to server side render a React application with bun in a future video. So if you liked it, please give this a like and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.